Well, that's right, Charlotte. And what this report says is that while the NHS was protected, care homes certainly were not. The biggest error it highlights is the decision to release 25,000 patients from hospitals directly into care homes without testing them for COVID, uh, despite advice really early on that they could be asymptomatic. Uh, this care home and another owned by the same company, they believe that directly led to 16 deaths. But the report goes even further than that, saying the pandemic simply exposed years of inattention to the sector to delayed reforms uh, and basically says that it now wants the government to put in writing that it's made the changes it needs and will not have the same mistakes again if that dreaded second wave does come. Well, that's right, Charlotte. What this report basically says is that while the NHS was protected, care homes were essentially hung out to dry. The biggest error it highlights is the decision to release 25,000 patients from hospitals back into their care homes without giving them COVID tests, even though at that point they were told that they could be asymptomatic. Now, at this care home and another owned by the same company, that directly led to 16 deaths and one member of staff who's still really struggling after contracting the virus. What the report also does is go right back to the start and says that what this pande pandemic has actually done is exposed uh, years of inattention and delayed reforms and basically problems with the sector. What it now wants in writing from the government is them to say we've sorted these mistakes now, this would not happen again if there were a second wave. The biggest criticism is around the decision to release 25,000 patients from hospitals back into their care homes without giving them tests for COVID-19. Here at this care home and another owned by the same company, it led to 16 deaths, one member of staff still struggling with their health. The owner says they still feel like second class citizens in comparison to those who work for the NHS, which doesn't bode well when the report authors say they want the government to put in writing what they've done to make changes.